The Natal Education Department was one of the finest departments in South Africa. So I started in 1967 as a music inspector. I was very young. Um, music as a subject had been phased out before my arrival by a committee. So the first thing that came to mind was to start instrumental teaching and we eventually managed to establish a youth orchestra. During that year of 1967, I had a phone call from the Free State Inspector, Turkey de Villiers, where he strongly urged me to look at the Free State Youth Choir and establish a similar choir in Natal. We, we were actually pioneers. Because when we took over, you know, in the, in the respective provinces, yeah. we just saw um, opportunities yes. to start a provincial youth choir. Has many, uh, many problems. The team that I had was so great. They were co-conductors. Yes. Pete Snyman came, yes. Andres Wasserman. We had to make do with uh, typing uh, land phones. Yes. And, and we had to print the music and send it out almost uh, to every member of the choir, addressed in my own handwriting mm -hmm. and the other co-conductors' mm -hmm. handwriting assisted me. Um, Throughout, it was a mammoth task. Yes. To be in Natal, see you, Kurt Komet. Kon ik die eerste toepassing krijgen met van Kurt de regering met zangers wat wilsen. The the choir was established in 1967. It was a wonderful group. They came from about. 12 high schools. Yes. And um, I don't recognize myself on the, on the, on the photo. And the members really um, developed friendships. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the members had to get yeah. on a train Friday evenings and then arrive the next morning in Peter Maritzburg. Start, start, start a Saturday rehearsal in which you had to work very hard because they had to catch the train back that same night. The design and the origin of the badge just has its own history. And you'll notice that the badge first displayed the Tal Schools Choir. In 1974, I managed to have it changed to Youth Choir, but not after a little bit of pushing. Yes. I remember our first highlight was a combined concert in Urania Macy's High School in Bloemfontein. And I, 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 I'm, I'm a bit proud about it. Yes, <laughs> lovely. <Yeah. laughs> well spot. The Free State Choir didn't get such a, a good, uh, you know, uh, 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 criticism. But our choir was absolutely lauded. Yeah. I also wrote a letter to to the Roman Catholic Monsignor, and they um, invited us to perform at a papal audience. Now that takes place Wednesdays <coughs> when the Pope is there, yeah. when he addresses the crowds. And the Pope came over to us. The choir was oh, absolutely overwhelmed. When it was over, um, the director of the Vatican studio, recording studio, yeah. came to me and said, why don't you come around and do a recording? And right behind, I never knew it existed, yeah. behind the big, enormous Vatican yes. um, uh, of the yes. recording yes. studio. Yes. yes. So it's the inside of the city itself, the Vatican yes. City. So we, yes. we recorded the religious part of our yes. program, and then months later I got a letter from the Vatican to say, here is the program of the, uh, of the 
radio station. It was broadcasted well, to every country. country in the world. Ah, wonderful. So it was a stunning thing. I must tell you also that there was a taxi strike. We no, nearly that's missed a lovely it. Story. Yeah. We nearly missed it. Yes. Well, Mario Monteregi. Yes. He toured with us. Kate and said, we, we won't be able to go to the Vatican. And then Mario said, but let me speak to the taxis. And I know he bribed them. We allowed all the members of the choir to roam and roam. Yes. In other words, the cultural experience was a, was a, a, a factor. Yes. The stories that came back. Yes. It was, it was to me the real success of the story. Amazingly, when we toured to Italy yes. for the Loretto Festival, yes. I had in the choir a quintet of string plays yes. from the Natal Youth Orchestra that also wanted to sing in the choir oh, yes. because of the wonderful spirit they experienced there. Pitz Neumann uh, walked a path with me made a huge contribution. He liked to write his own stuff. We often, we often programmed some of his compositions. Now he's 80, my sincere congratulations, Pete. And I hear you still play the organ at Westfield Church. Bravo. We're Tura, was it for my van kardinale belang. Dat was het provinciale tour doen van tenminste acht tot tien concerten hmm. in ons het na die alle wat vandaag polle kwaan is als tour. En denk eens op daar die tour wat ek toevallig die huidige dirigent het een dag aan my genoem dat hy die koor gehoord en besluit hy wil dirigent word van die koor. Dat is nou Gerard de Toy, ja. ja. Ja, ja, ja. En uh, verstommend ja. dat hij die koor zo so prachtig in die gang gehoud. Trouwens, die een van die ander, die vrystaatse jachtkoor het nie oorleef. Ja. Maar die taatse jachtkoor is vandag het al in jare 50 oud. Ja, ja. Ek dink dit is ongelooflik. Het is heel te maal anders as vandag waar daar is ook een geweldige spanne achter koren is en orkeste. Dat is heel te man een story, dit is een man alleen story geweest, ja. met hulp van anderen. Ja. I must yes. tell you, what the youth choirs today do, it wasn't possible in my time. Yes. It was too difficult, yes. because of the, the, the constraints, such as dumb telephones, you know, and you see that. Yes. And Kaiser in youth choir, is an example where bridges can be built yes. can, to, to overcome um, cultural differences. Yes. Ons is baie trots by die mense wat teruggeploeg het en kan onthou wat hulle eerste inspiratie vandaan krijg, hoop ek. <laughs>